In heavenly armor we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. No weapon has fashioned against us can stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Indeed, the battle belongs to the Lord, not us. Hey there, my dear friends and family. I trust you are staying in God's confident peace because the, ba the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Behind me today, I have a photo of a sailboat smoothly sailing. Did you see that? Awesome. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. Imagine being on that boat while God is taking care of the battle for you. I can do that. I can imagine that. Hmm. All right. Without further ado, let's get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. Today's scripture is from 1 Samuel 25, 25 from NIV. Please pay attention, my Lord, to that wicked man, Nabal. He is just like his name. His name means fool and folly goes with him. The title of this devotional is Battles That Don't Matter. In 1 Samuel 25, a very wealthy man named Nabal, who was mean and hard to get along with, had offended and outraged David. So much so that he and 400 of his men were on their way to kill Nabal and all of his men. David allowed his emotions for revenge to take him into a direction of shedding innocent blood and hindering his own destiny. Fortunately, Nabal's wife, Abigail, intervened and persuaded David that her husband was such a fool that he was not worthy of any response. She reminded David that God was entrusting to him an everlasting dynasty that could be lost through vengeance. You will encounter people who are rude and offensive like Nabal. Ask yourself what Abigail asked David. Why fight a fool? Why get in a conflict with someone who's not between you and your destiny? So what if they don't like you and make negative comments or leave you out? That's a test. Don't get distracted, baited into being offended or caught in the battles that don't matter. Stay in God's peace and rise above it. Amen, amen, amen. All right, let us pray. Mm, 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 that's so good. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for the example that Jesus showed us in his response, Father, when he was insulted, there was false accusations, and being mistreated, Lord. He was just constantly being mistreated, and shamefully, Lord, thank you that we don't have to waste our time and our energy in getting into these conflicts with those who oppose us. They're fools. You are our defender, and we will stay in your peace in the midst of the battle, Lord. Thank you. We ask of all these things in Jesus' glorious and powerful name. Amen and amen. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow, namaste.